Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today's topic is going to be discussing the new God of War and the step that it chose to make and some people are displeased while others encourage the change. Now I'm going to go into detail about what I think about it and why I feel that the game is good and Although I don't agree with everything, I still think it's a good game and people are just riffing on it. Now let's start off with this. God of War has always been a game that has been about colossal boss battles, fighting titanic enemies, that's not an exaggeration, you literally fought titans, and just being just a usual hack and slash, just absolute carnage spree with you know the usual rating in the top right hand corner you know brutal sadistic savage with the number of hits that you would get on enemies now it has also been a game that has pretty much got media triggered because they're like oh you're have you're murdering thousands of enemies and people ripping them apart and having sex with women and stuff like that right now here comes god of war 4 and now people are like i can't rip thousands of people apart and make red orbs and do all of this stuff that they could do in the previous games now let's get at what got what the old god of war games have over God of War 4. The combat is just better in the older ones. It, it's just better. The camera angle is suits the fact that you're just going to be hack and slashing most of the time and just fighting bosses because that's what the game was based around. The game was not based around story. It wasn't based around character development, plot. You just fought crap. So in that regard, the older games just have better combat, period. However, God of War 4 has cinematic appeal. It has storytelling elements. It has character development. It's based around telling a story. Now, some will argue that this is why they don't care for the new God of War 4, because they don't want to play God of War for story. They want to play it for the hack and slash, make red orbs with women game that it was, right? However, like I, like I said, you need to understand developers, developers, the ones coding the game, get tired of making the same thing over and over. Can you imagine you are working as a game developer and they're like, we want a new game, which it's not really technically new new, it's a sequel. So here you are coding the same combat, the same formula, with just a couple of new enemies or just fixing up lighting and textures. Can you imagine how boring that must be? What people aren't understanding is that we've had how many God of Wars before God of War 4 that all went on that style of combat, just hack and slash, you know, the camera angle, overhead camera angle for fighting multiple enemies and bosses. We have had several, I think five. I'm not going to go through all of them because I don't have the list with me right at the moment. But we have had plenty. God of War 4 is not about hack and slash. Sure, there are hack and slash elements of the game. Sure, the camera angle has changed. And sure, it's a cinematic feel. But what God of War 4 is about is about Kratos moving on. It's about Kratos trying to realize that he is more than just an absolute monster despite what he usually tells himself. It's about Kratos realizing that he can have a normal life. He can have a family. He can have a wife again. He can have a son. And in this case, he mourns, the, he mourns his you know new wife while also attempting to bond with the son that he may seem 
to be cold towards, but he truly cares about his son. It's about Kratos learning to trust people again. It's about Kratos forgiving himself for the past events that occurred in the other games. That is what God of War 4 is about. That is why people believe that it is a good game. That is why I believe it is a good game. I do not mind criticism. God of War 4, in my opinion, I really wish it had the better combat, but I understand that it wanted to take a more cinematic appeal. But to just believe that the game is bad because it is a change is just it's just wrong in my opinion and even in other games the same could be said because you know something changed so so that you believe the game is bad and this is something that I and I'm sure other people need to be aware of especially for things like RPGs and where a base mechanic is taken out for something else and then you're like why but we have to learn to give it a chance not necessarily buy it but just take a look at the gameplay see what you think about it if you don't like god of war this isn't a video saying screw you and screw your opinion this isn't what i'm saying i just want to change your way of thinking i'm not asking you to go buy the game but you need to understand developers get tired of something we have had several god of war games with amazing hack and slash bosses and combat. We have not, however, had one that actually delved into Kratos' character and developed his character. All of these games have just treated Kratos as a mad, savage beast. God of War 4 isn't saying Kratos is a good guy. Oh no. God of War 4 is not doing that at all. Kratos isn't a good guy. But he still strives to have a normal life and strives to forgive himself of the past events that he did in Greece and to the, and to the gods of Olympus. And people, because he, he ruined everyone's lives, you know. But for the freaking God of War sake, see what I did there? For the sake of God of War... Please let these people do what they want to do. Let them make what they want to make. That is how we got the amazing series that is God of War. If you were picky about every little detail, then we might not have even, and you told them that, they might not have even wanted to make God of War, seeing how picky you are. This is a change, and it's probably going to stay that way which some are probably going to have a problem with, while others aren't. And I get it. God of War 4, it got kind of dull when you were fighting the same enemies over and over, but like I said, this in this case, it wasn't really about just being on a god murder spree. It was about character development. So you need to understand that they're two entirely separate plots and games. You need to understand that. You got the God, you got the God murder spree and Titan murder spree and God in the previous God of War games because that's what he was after. He was out to kill the gods. In God of War four, he's out to just carry his wife's ashes with his son to the top of the highest mountain. Spoilers, that's what he's out to do. He's not out to kill the gods. He's not out to slaughter the Titans and the denizens of the new area that he is in he is just out to fulfill his wife's last wish please people please try and change your way that you're looking at this god of war 4 is not a bad game it's a change and you're not gonna like the changes all the time i understand i don't like all the changes in god of war but that does not mean that it is a lackluster story or a lackluster game to begin with. This game has had a lot of thought and work put into it, in my opinion. Seeing these games just fumble at launch with barely base game content, you know, flooded with DLCs, and, and, uh, <clears throat> golly, excuse me, 
flooded with DLCs, microtransactions, and just controversy and anti-consumer practices, game after game after game, it's, it's just sad to see. This game has not done that in any, any of the freaking series. Let these people make what they want to make. Don't go around getting mad because they chose to do something different. Who knows? You might hate it now, but in the future, that could have just made the games immensely better. Just give it a chance. That's all I'm asking. With that being said, that is the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. How do you feel about God of War 4? Do you hate it compared to the other God of War games? If not, did you love it? What, did, what didn't you like about it? What did you like about it? I'd love to hear in the comments below. As always, rate the video what you think it deserves. Tell me what you want to see in the future in the comments below. And as always, I will see all of you in the next video. Take care.